All right, talk about a quinky dink in this story. There were these two drivers. Driving the same car? No, no, no. Teacher two and a... Uh... Two cars. Okay. The first person, they had just stolen a person's Toyota Land Cruiser, okay? Oh, I like that car. That's a good car to steal. So then a few minutes after it was stolen, it was spotted through, like, driving through town uh, by police. So then police started trying to chase this car down and he was trying to elude the police, trying mm -hmm. to get away. So as he was trying to get away, this fool, he crashes into a Buick Regal, and it turns out that that car was also stolen, driven by this woman. Oh, Whoa. shit. Oh, two yeah. stolen cars get into an accident. Exactly. So the Buick was stolen, reported stolen three weeks ago. And so luckily for this crash, they were both caught. Double case solved. Also, pretty much the yep. cops just got super lucky. Lucky. Super lucky. That's why I said so talk about a coinky ding. She's kind of, she's like, I look cute in this, huh? <laughs> this is how they fall she in love. Was, this is the beginning of their love story. <laughs> <laughs> Did you steal the car like I stole the car? <laughs> so she was a Buick, this is a t Toyota. Land Cruiser. Yeah, Land Cruiser. Can we see the accident? No, I don't have That'd a That'd be cool if the car hit in the shape of a heart too. Ooh. And the two red <laughs> cars? Faded and to be. Two red cars. And, and kissed. And then oh, all the God. gasoline like started spilling out and then it caught on fire, but it was a perfect heart. Yeah! yeah. Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah. Helicopters Please. were like, oh my God, look at this. <laughs> <laughs> so it turns out that Kristen, the girl, uh, she was found to be under the influence of I don't know what, of but- Drunk in love. Oh. <laughs> Intoxicants, that's it, intoxicants. Oh, that's a nice heart, yeah. thank you. Wait, what the fuck? Oh, there you go. Ow. Thank you. How do you do that? Ow, fuck. I don't think I'm Wait, doing it right. One of my fingers won't work. Wait. No. My nails make right? it slippery. Wait. Take your index finger and you oh. curl them. Okay. And then your middle finger, straighten them. I can't train one of mine. Oh no, I can't do it. I yeah. think I did it, but it's upside down. I can't. No, you're just <laughs> Illuminati. <laughs> Illuminati. You're like a really oh. bad Illuminati. I made a, a l smaller heart. Not bad. What about this? There it is, guys. It's the Airbnb logo. I think I got it, guys. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> or how do you? I love this you. <laughs> There's this one. There's this one. Is this one? Is this one? Damn, Dad hey, just gotta know one? all that stuff, huh? What was this, this one? This one? one? That's a K-pop oh, yeah. one. Mm-hmm. When I found out about this, I'm like, how fucking cute. This God one? Damn it. But, but it's, it's not, so but cute. This isn't just like a little tiny heart. This is like essentially your heart. Like, uh, like these are like supposed to be your veins or something. Corazón for you. <gasps> this is your aorta? So cute. It's like, it's so this whole hand this also is means supposed fuck to you, motherfucker. <laughs> your whole heart. And that like, I forgot which one, but Yo, one is like your aorta and the other one's the... Um, Pulmonary? Yeah. Yeah, and then this is the beating heart. Or this is like, your penis is this big. Yeah. <laughs> or the world's smallest violin. <laughs> world's small. Adorable. But yeah, I don't know. I would love to see if they end up dating. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> honestly, so if this cute. doesn't turn into a perfect love story, this story. Days so fiance sucks. type, they follow with cameras or anything in jail. <laughs> That'd be pretty cool. That'd be cool. They have the same prosecutor who's also the person who like officiates them. Aww. That's if you go to jail for a romantic. crime, you should be given up your rights to be filmed for entertainment TV. <gasps> Nothing else. Everything else should be stayed. That's well, wouldn't brilliant. that fall under like the like them working and it's like bad? Oh yeah, all of a sudden they're a union actor now. Well yeah, you do all that stuff. They probably get better and thing, and then when they come out, they have like a, a career and to get them off the streets. So and if you're in jail, back. you also get paid then. You get your day rate. Yeah. Yeah, you get your your, your like your top ramen. No, yeah, yeah, you get like meals. Yeah. So you no don't rate. get a day rate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah. then every celebrity then in the future is a previous convict. Wow. But what if they're they unionize? An ex-convict. A lot of them are, huh? But what if they unionize? No, that's what we're saying. They're gonna be unionized already if they're gonna Isn't be Isn't that just called a prison gang? No. Do you guys remember or locked up abroad kind of show? You remember that uh, movie? It was like race, like death race or some shit. No. Where they're like uh, Bruce. I think Bruce Willis was one of them or whatever. But oh yeah. They're like uh, inmates, and then they have to race and they kill each other, shoot guns yeah. out the car, it's, and whoa. it's kind of like a modern day. Wait, Star Gerard movie. Butler was in that. I think. Gerard yeah, Butler was like a video about. game character. No, that's gamer. But I know what you're talking about. Death race was. Wasn't that Jason Statham? Statham. It was, one of, those. It was yeah, one of those. It was one of those. It was one. Yeah. I think it was. I think it was Statham. Statham. Yeah. One of those bald white yeah, guys. Yeah, yeah. It was a bald yes. guy. Jason Statham. Death. 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 Statham. Yeah. Death. Statham. And he had that black car with like the bulletproof on it. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. There might have yeah. been a shitty. Sequel. So what if it's like that? Like kind of like Hunger Gamesy. But nobody dies. Mm. 
Dude, would you be down? Then that's more like gamer. Yeah? That's no. more like gamer oh, though. Because those are convicts. In gamer, yeah, yeah. it's like you're a convict. Right. Yeah. So instead of death, then it's just about love in reality TV. But that means you're assuming that there's co-ed prisons like that, right? True. That these gamers would be a Wait, part of. There's already a reality TV show called Locked Up. <laughs> it's not, not about lo love. Locked in love. Yeah, it's not locked in oh, love. Oh, it should be called Locked in Love. That's a dope ass show. What locked if they like don't in fall love? in love? Do they just like have to like shank each other? That's even more drama. That's so wait. Yeah. Is it like The Bachelor or 98 Fiance, but then it's like for inmates? Yeah. I like it. Mm. I inmates like it. or soulmates? Mm. Or like cellmates. Oh. Cellmates. Ah. That's a good one. Cellmates. But what's the story? Well, Do you know, Love Is Blind. The whole point is. The, the journey is supposed to be, okay, let's take the superficial physical out of it, see if I could fall in love with someone, and then look at the person later, yeah. right? Why is reality TV so obsessed with people falling in love? Because it's primal. primal. Yeah. I mean, so are other things. Wow. Yeah, I mean, that's like food. Romance. That's like food. 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 Yeah. You can find love through it. And then that, that's why there's also just straight porno, so when it gets farther. Mm. Everybody wants to see the foreplay though. But people want to see either love or they want to see food or they want to see they want a drama. Yeah, like it's, drama. It and people want to see losers that are worse than them. What about fashion? <laughs> Not very primal. There is fashion reality. I know, but I'm saying he's, but, but he's no. naming all the primal like food, fight, or what was it? Fashion's primal? Yeah. No, that, that was my joke. But I know like that It's like, probably drama. <laughs> What's the drama? We're supposed to laugh? It was a bad one, it was a bad one. Uh. It was a bad joke. For TVs and movies, like depending like who's producing those things, like because they have that money to make this show or movie happen, and if they feel like it's not gonna be enough to sell, like they're like, oh, where's the romance? We need some romance in there just to attract a certain audience mm -hmm. to go. They're always a- That's very yeah. PG. What they really mean is we need nipples in this. Sex sells. <laughs> Right? I don't know, 98 Day Fiance, I wouldn't want to see most of them naked. Most, like 99% of the characters naked. I just love the drama is so fucking good. Have you guys seen Too Hot to Handle? Mm -mm. That sounds familiar. I've heard of it, but I haven't seen it. I only saw one episode, but I can understand why it would be hilariously addicting. Why? Uh, they're, they're set on this like, or I guess the premise is they, they're all these like really hot people. They get put on this island. Oh, and they can't fuck because they're sex addicts. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, they're they, sex they all love sex. Yeah, but if you don't fuck, you win like a million dollars or yeah. something or a hundred thousand dollars. Are they really yeah. sex addicts? Yeah, they're like yeah. all, well, they all say they love sex and they're all like, you know, very attractive type people. And they can put on this island, but they don't know that that's the game. They Once they get there, they get uh, introduced like that. But obviously, shit. they get to there, there's like speed dating, there's a bunch of activities that bring them really close. There's like truth or dares. There's, Skinny dipping. Yeah, there's lots of that stuff, but you just cannot, wow. you know. Dude, I'm kill wow. you. Can you masturbate? Yeah. I don't know. I don't I don't know. Can you lose over and over again on the show? Nah. We lost last night and we lost again. Yeah. And we just you get kicked out. <laughs> oh. Usually there's a cash prize. It's cum survivor. <laughs> cum survivor? So we gotta do that, but for like, Cellmates. No. <laughs> not not saying they can't fuck, but cellmates. maybe it's like something else. You know, like we'll like like Bart said, there's got to be a story. Same. Yeah. Like what's or the journey? Coed. What's the journey? Well, I don't know. Well, we're talking about these two people that yeah. accidentally got into a car accident. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? I thought I thought it would be like, how would they continue their love by being locked up in like lady jail and male jail, and then they get their conjugal visits, and then. Oh, so like maybe the whole episode is like how well they like dig through with a spoon to like communicate their love to the person or like, or like they, send a letter. How they do it in real prisons where they literally send notes and they flush the toilet. Yeah. Or they empty the toilet so they could communicate because through the piping. Mm -hmm. That's how they do it when they talk to yeah. the guys and girls. Well, and they fall in love literally through yelling into a toilet. Facilities? No, sometimes it's the same facilities, but it's, yeah. it's, it's blocked. Like the one that's uh, Galane's in right now, it's not all female. But they're separated. But they're separated, yeah. Different rooms, different halls. Well, you could see that. Wait, what are, you, what are you talking about? People yelling through toilets so to fall in love? They literally yeah. back of the toilet. They, For they, communication? They, who? Uh, who? The Who's they? Inmates. It was, uh. It's like on a show. They, 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 uh, you, I'll, I'll no, but they do that though. Yeah, so they scoop out the water until it's empty, right? Uh -huh. um, and then they make sure they leave it bang so they know they're, they're doing it or they, they yell through it. And they're like, oh, this person wants to talk to this person. So they're literally yelling into the toilets and it's coming out the other end. Like a, you know when you used to do the telephone with the string? Yeah. It's kind of like that, but it actually works. It's or they send crazy. stuff downstream too. Yeah. They have like if a long, long a string. Someone sneaks a balloon of, I don't know, like fucking heroin or some shit, they want to send it to the home and they put it in the. Or they the put toilet. like Twinkies and they give it like, make sure that girl gets it and then they fall in love. 
Wow. I've literally had relationships I've never met. It's like a really extreme version of being in, in like back in elementary school where you're sending notes to your friend. Or you're your passing friend. it to your homie, to your homie, to your homie. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then they're like, do you like Fred? Because Fred told me he likes you. Yeah. And they're like, all right. And then you run over and you're like, Fred, she likes you. All right, can you tell her this? All right, and then you fucking run. Like that's everyone like, had to do that for their it, friends. That's how I got my first boyfriend too. in fourth grade. Huh? Like no, but everyone, that's how they do it. Everyone had to do that for like each other. They literally pass notes and they're like, hey, this person likes this person, and then this person circle will give it yes to or no. Right. Yeah, circle. exactly. And then they'll give it to like the cafeteria worker that's one of the inmates, and sometimes then they have to meet the girl. <gasps> I wonder how kids are doing it this. These days. Text. Kids TikTok. or prison people because no, kids, I'm in a kids. different realm right now. I was thinking yeah. prison where they're like, hey, tell Baby Joker I like him. Yeah. And they and fucking they tell Baby Joker. So they, they pass notes? And baby oh, Joker's like a huge person. Yeah. 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 Killer likes you. I oh, saw this. Does. I saw this one episode where they fell in love <laughs> and then he saw her and was like, oh shit. But they were talking for months. And then he, he didn't like it? Like, yeah. And he's like, mm. Aww, that's sad. You mean like in jail? Yeah. But he enjoyed her personality. Yeah. He probably was imagining her to be way hotter. That's his fault. And then he saw her and he's like, oh, that's not what I imagined. Your voice was so nice. That that's sucks, not fair. but I can understand. Cause I mean- Have you been catfished? Catfished? No. Are you but sure? How would are, you know? <laughs> looks are important. Yeah. My roommate got catfished the other day. What? The other day? The other week. What happened? He was like just talking to this hot girl and she comes over and she looks nothing like she did on the photos. And then so they're in the we pool. got catfish for oh, a those, shoot. There are worse catfishes. Then just not that same person. Yeah. I've been catfished before. Not the same person that I saw in the picture. Mm. Or if it was, it's like an amazing Photoshop. Aww. There, there are definitely lots of other catfishes where it's like different genders and stuff, you know? Whoa. Whoa. Well, I feel That's like just a, a trap. lot of times it's, it's kind of sad because it's like, well, that is that person. But it was just a long time ago. Or it was a really great angle. Or it was a really good makeup day or whatever it was. And then it was a really good Photoshop, too. not really trying to fake who they are. Oh, That's true. Yeah. There are some complete fakes. Yeah. Like you get a picture of a, a blonde white girl and then you show up and it's like an Asian girl. And you're like, yeah. what happened? <laughs> Catfish.